Welcome. This will be some Q&A practice. We'll start out with just some two voice practice. Okay. And we'll start with the plaintiff. Here we go. Did you ever work with him? Yes, I did. And did you work as a team when you worked with him? Yes. And was that in trash collection? Yes. And how long approximately did you work with him as a team member? Approximately four months. So as of November 21, you weren't working with him then. Is that right? Would you say that again? Sure. As of November 21, you were not working with Mr. King as a team member? You mean on the day of the accident? That's right. We worked as a team. You did work as a team on the day of the accident? Yes. Were you in the vehicle he was in at the time of this accident? No, I wasn't. You were in a different vehicle. Is that right? Yes. All right. Have you ever seen Mr. King socially? No. Did you ever go out to dinner or go out and have a drink together or meet at his home or anything? No. When was the last time you saw Joe King? I am not sure. He transferred to a different yard. He was working with me in my section but he transferred about two months ago. You haven't seen him for the last two months? No, I haven't. Have you ever talked to him within the last two months? No, I haven't. You do not personally see Mr. King on a social basis. Is that correct? That is correct. You never have is that correct? Never have. All right. 
Do you have a friend or acquaintance that does meet with Mr. King on a social basis? Well, I am a supervisor and I know a lot of people. I don't know who they meet on a social basis. But do you know of anyone in particular? Can you give me the name of anyone that you know who meets with Mr. King on a social basis? No, you were not Mr. King's supervisor on the date of this accident, were you? No. Did you ever talk with Joe King at any time after the accident about the accident? I asked him about the accident. Sure. Okay. Do you remember the first time you asked him about the accident? The first time I saw him, I suppose. I guess it was as soon as he got to the yard. Would that be on the day of the accident? Yes. You said you asked him about it. Is that right? Yes. What do you mean by that? What did you ask him specifically? I wanted to know what did happen, you know. You did not personally see the accident. I saw the accident. You did see the accident. I knew it was an accident. You knew it was an accident? Right. Did you actually see the two vehicles involved in this accident collide? Yes, I did. How many times have you discussed this accident with Mr. King? Once. Right. So let's try a little bit, just a little bit of four voice now. So it looks like we'll just be No, looks like there'll be 
the court comes in and the defense. But just a little. Okay. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. It starts it starts with the court. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Juror number 12. Was it the line again coming into the courthouse? Actually, it was just the traffic this time traffic this time okay vehicular traffic this time vehicular the line was empty down there and the freeway picked this morning to slow you up it would be better when the line is we're back on the record in the case of people versus john smith this is case number t a one two three four five six Mr. Smith is present with Mr. Yamamoto. Mr. Jackson is present representing the people. The jurors and alternate jurors are present. Go ahead and stop there for today. And maybe work on a little bit more of that next time. All right. Thank you. That will conclude our practice for today.